But part of uh, living in LA and, and working in the in the movie business is that you get to know you get to know a lot more about what goes on behind the scenes of making movies, right? And um, like, for instance, like when it comes to race in movies, like it really affects my the way I watch movies now because like there's like often like you know the way they treat races and PC agendas in movies now it actually ruins the plots of movies for me. Um, there was a trailer, I haven't seen the movie yet, for a movie called The Purge. Have you guys seen this, this movie or a trailer? Uh, I'm gonna tell you about the trailer because I haven't seen the movie. Um, so The Purge is, an, is a story about um, America in the not too distant future. There's no crime, it's awesome, right? Oh, well, except for one 12 hour period, it's called The Purge and that's when you can commit any crime, you can murder, you can kill, you can, uh, you could go on BitTorrent, I guess. You know, there's a lot of options. <laughs> Any crime you want, which makes sense, you know, knowing how psychology works, right? You would, if you could get it all out in 12 hours, you wouldn't do it again the rest of the year, but the, our laws are all screwed up. So in this utopia called The Purge, um, the day of The Purge is starting. Now The Purge starts at sunset, and in the trailer, right, they start doing the countdown to The Purge, right? And it's, it, and we're, the, we're watching it from the perspective of a suburban white family, uh, led by Ethan Hawke and a young boy uh, who's also in parenthood. Um, so the newscaster's like, the purge will start in 10, nine, eight. Around that eight number is when Ethan Hawke gets up to go to the security codes to put down all their metal purge gates. Cause if you have, if you live in the purge world and you have a suburban home and a family, you have metal sliding uh, like gates and doors that go over all your windows and doors, right? So he goes over on the eight mark, which personally, if I live in the purge world, I'm gonna put those gates down like a little earlier, right? Like maybe like 45 minutes earlier, just in case the criminals don't have the same like accurate watches that we do. I'd hate to die of an accidental purge murder, wouldn't you? So he, he, he puts in the code, right? And the purge gates start coming down. But all of a sudden the kid from Parenthood's like, dad, dad, outside, there's a guy running around. And it's an African-American teenager. And he's running around going, help me, help me, please, please, please. And as you know, kids in movies are the ones with emotions. And he sees this poor person outside and is like, dad, we have to help him. Dad's like, no, we're not gonna help him. The kid goes over to the security code. No child locks, by the way, on the purge gates, right? <laughs> Seems like a major design flaw. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. The gates stop for a second, in slides an African-American teenager, and now, and then the gates go down, and now the white family is trapped in a house with a black kid, right? Now the family is terrified, but Jeff Grace is not. <laughs> because I know the following pitch would never succeed in Hollywood. Hey guys, um, so you know, I have this idea for like a crime night kind of thing, you know, it'd be a crime night. And uh, right before the gates go down, we have this all white suburban family, you know, who are always good in real life, right? And then outside we have an African American teenager running around and he slides underneath the door and then he kills this all white family, right? <laughs> no? I'm fired? Oh. Shucks. <laughs>